outstanding day here honoring our, our team. And you know, one thing similar when we had our, our dance bat fest and send off, I think we get spoiled with our success. Um, our boys' basketball program now has, has been a, uh, a continued streak of dominance here in western Wisconsin. Uh, third trip to state here, which doesn't happen for a lot of different programs. I think this group, um, success doesn't come easy. The work that they put in is endless. The time that they spend in the weight room, the summer leagues, the work that they're doing, it, it, it just doesn't show up, okay? The sweat, things that they're doing behind the scenes are what's then helped them be successful during game time. 59 straight middle border wins. I want you to think about that number real quick. 59 straight middle border wins. A guy up here on stage hasn't lost a middle border game. That's over four years worth of wins. That's unheard of. And like I said, a lot of times I think we're spoiled with our success and thinking, oh, it's just gonna come easy to us. Okay. No, these guys work for everything that they have. Every time they go and play a game, they're getting the other team's best, regardless of middle, middle border, non-conference, or playoffs. And I think that's a testament to our coaching staff and the dedication that our, our leadership brings every single day. They're not playing not to lose. They're going out to give their best with everything that they got. The non-conference schedule that they set up is to challenge them. So they're playing the likes of Farmington's, Lake Cities, Hastings, GTs, larger schools, storied basketball programs to test us once we get to the postseason here. Uh, we're gonna get to Coach Johnson here in a second. Um, Coach Johnson's done a tremendous job here. One of the most successful coaches, not just in Western Wisconsin, but in the entire state. He's going to be modest and humble about it. But I think that's something we need to recognize. His staff and the program that they put together. Let's give a round of applause. Well, coming in this year, coming off playing the state championship game last year, losing eight seniors, uh, losing some big seniors. Uh, Owen. <laughs> big senior. But in coming in, we heard a lot of things like, you know, you lost your seniors, you lost a lot of good players, you know, you don't bring a ton of guys back to get back to a state tournament. We heard that in the summer, we heard that in the fall, we heard that. We kept hearing, we kept hearing, and we knew what we had. We knew all along that we weren't good enough to get back to the state. We knew we were good enough to go to gold ball. Our coaching staff knew that. We never doubted ourselves at all. And I think that drove us, you know, to put the more time in the summers, to put the more time in the weight room. Because those negativity things that we kept hearing, and to hear those things that turned into what we did this year. I mean, we're 24 and two, we're tied for the second most wins in our school history as of right now. Coach Smith mentioned 59 straight conference wins. We played an unbelievably challenging schedule. The best schedule I've had since I've been head coach. In seven, seven years, by far, the toughest schedule we've played. And what we've accomplished so far is incredible. And again, because of our six seniors this year, you know, we we're led by unbelievable leadership, our, our three captains with PD, Wesley, and Joe. You know, that's the big reason our success is by those three. And we couldn't ask for a better group of kids to work with. I mean, and the bottom line is these kids work so hard, they put so much time and effort in, and also they're unbelievable kids to be around. And, and that's the most important thing, and that's why we coach is because we love our kids and we love being around our kids. And as a coach or coach staff, we want to thank the players for giving us an unbelievable season. And I think you guys need a round of applause just for just for being great kids. <laughs> we're gonna have a blast doing it. We're gonna enjoy every minute of it, but our goal is to bring the school back to full basketball. And that stuff, other things too, is, is the thank yous that we need to look at and, and to recognize. And number one, our student body, our fan support is unbelievable. You watch those clips, you watch our, our playoffs, you students are, it's incredible how much, how many guys come to our game and support us and how much we appreciate how, it's just, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Teacher support, staff support, and, and how much these guys appreciate seeing teachers in the stands. And talk about, we, we know it's, it's just, it's so great. Administration, Mr. Figgy, Mr. Smith, putting this on, putting now we can go to all the schools right now and, and shake all the kids' hands in the district. That, that takes work, that takes effort. A lot of people are doing that for our program. Uh, Mr. Canfield, our band, you know, how great is our band? I've yet in seven years of head coach have ever seen a band as good as we are. Okay, that's you. Thank you. Thank you. you guys have come to all of our games and supporting us throughout the season and coming to things like this. It might get boring, but it means a lot to us. And thank you to our staff for doing the same thing, coming to our games, supporting us. And uh, thank you to Mr. Smith and Mr. Figgy for all they've done this week and like this year for getting all the tickets and the game set up. A lot to us, we're going to be very successful. Thank you guys.
you know, we talk about how good the kids are is, is, is people, and that's because of how good our parents are. That's because they have great parents. And I think our parents, you know, Ralph Claus, were raising them such good kids. <laughs>